Let's talk about Sora, OpenAI's newest model that turns text prompts into video. It's scary how good this is. For now, it can generate videos up to a minute long while maintaining visual quality and adherence to your input. It's following the footsteps of big tech giants like Google with Imagine Video and Meta with Emu Video, as well as startups like Runway. This is a video generated by Sora with the prompt, a stylish woman walks down a Tokyo street filled with warm, glowing, neon, and animated city signage. The lady, the people in the background, color depth, water reflections. It looks pretty realistic. It's not perfect, but it looks really good. Here's another one with mammoths. This video is near perfect. The prompt is several giant woolly mammoths approach treading through a snowy meadow. Their long woolly fur lightly blows in the wind as they walk. Honestly, if people saw these online, most if not everybody wouldn't be able to tell they were AI generated. It's only now because we know they're AI generated that we can tell there's something a little off. As you see, Sora can generate generate complex scenes with multiple characters, specific types of motion, and really accurate details of the subject and background. It understands what we ask of it and how things would normally exist in the real world. Though it's not publicly available yet, according to OpenAI, it's only available to red teamers or beta testers to assess critical areas for harm or risks. You can already imagine what implications this has on our society from a risk perspective, especially this year during an election year for the US. OpenAI is currently positioning Sora as a research preview, having revealed very little about what data was used to train the model. Roughly tens to hundreds of thousands of hours of high quality video and refraining from making the model publicly available. The potential for abuse is extremely high. Bad actors could misuse Sora in a number of ways, like creating fake videos of political candidates and spreading fake news. According to OpenAI, it's engaging policymakers, educators, educators and artists around the world to understand their concerns and to identify positive use cases for this new technology. So what does this mean? It means until it's ready for the public, it'll continue to do extensive research and testing to ensure it's safe for launch. But even when it launches, there's no way the company can predict all the beneficial ways people will use its technology or all the ways people will abuse it. Learning from real world use cases will be critical, similar to ChatGPT and DAL-E. At the same time, it's still working on building tools to detect whether a video was generated by Sora. Once it releases this into a public facing product will ensure the provenance metadata is included in the generated videos. This honestly feels like another chat GPT or Dolly moment that will take the world by storm. OpenAI's Sora website showcases a ton of videos generated by the model and they all look so good. Here you can see a beautiful window reflection moment on a Tokyo train. Here's a drone shot of Big Sur's Gary Point Beach. The colors here are ridiculously beautiful. Even this animated scene of a fluffy monster. Pretty soon any Anyone can create Disney-like movies where storytelling will be taken to the next level. You can already see with the current version of Sora, these videos can and will pass as real videos. And from here on out, this is the worst we'll ever see of these generated videos. They'll only get better. This is perfect for stock videos, for all kinds of use cases in advertising, presentations, B-roll, and YouTube videos for creators like myself. Rest in peace to stock video sites like Motion Array, Artlist, or Storyblocks. No more spending endless time I'm searching for that perfect b-roll clip and making sacrifices for what you really want or what's actually available in their catalog. You can just write a text prompt for a very specific clip and boom, the video is generated in seconds. This clip of New York City submerged in an ocean full of sharks would normally be very difficult and time consuming to edit, but soon it'll just take a simple text prompt to generate. With the tech being so good now, how long until we can create full YouTube videos or even movies using Sora? I would normally say we're very far out from this, but now my opinion has definitely changed. Okay, now let's talk about one of OpenAI's biggest competitors, Google. It's no surprise that OpenAI is indeed giving Google a run for its money. Since the launch of ChatGPT, Google has been in crisis mode, rushing to develop Gen AI into its products. But even before then, since Sundar Pichai became Google CEO back in 2015, it feels like the company hasn't really done much to innovate or outpace its competitors. Let's take a step back. Remember, 
remember Steve Ballmer? He was the CEO of Microsoft from 2000 to 2014. He was notorious for failing the company to the point where it lost its market dominance and missed out on 21st century technology trends with the biggest being the rise of smartphones. 2014 was when Satya Nadella came in and became CEO of Microsoft and took it to astronomical heights. It's arguably doing better than Google now. Going back to Sundar Pichai, there was a poll created in the anonymous workplace social media app known as Blind. It asked whether Sundar Pichai is Google's Steve Ballmer. 77% of respondents have agreed with the statement. If you think about it, there is merit to this. Google continues to face multiple legal challenges, employees are being laid off in random fashion, and most importantly, the company's head start in AI has been crumbled by Sam Alton's lightning pace of open AI. Both Steve Ballmer and Sundar Pichai were business managers who took over revolutionary founders. They became known for maximizing sales and keeping investors happy, while likewise getting caught flat-footed by major technology shifts. And AI is another major technology shift similar to the internet and the mobile revolution. For Steve, Microsoft Windows, of course, was too slow to recognize the shift to mobile back in the late 2000s and early 2010s. For Sundar, man, Google search just sucks. Although it still has 83% of market share, it's become a garbage-filled list of unhelpful links that have gamed the SEO system, making it harder than ever to find a thing you search for in the first place. You can find dozens of Reddit threads posting about the same thing, how Google search sucks now. Now as OpenAI is approaching a $100 billion valuation, it's big enough to pose a real credible challenge to Google. Its AI capabilities are advanced enough that it's developing a search product that would take direct aim at Google. And you can bet that this search product will actually answer your question directly or generate search results you're actually looking for. So what does this all mean now and for the future? For now, Sora is clearly very impressive. It'll definitely kill off video licensing for stock videos, which is great because it'll mean we'll have better, higher quality content. For the future, well, the sky's the limit here. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this insightful. If you're not already, do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my next tech documentary. Click the video on screen to learn more about one of OpenAI's other biggest competitors known as Anthropic. Catch you later.